My name's Brian, I'm from the United States, and I've been spending the past 10 months teaching English with the Fulbright program in Kaiserslautern, Germany. And I've been selling my furniture because I'll be moving out soon, which is why my room looks like this. Since moving here, I've noticed some differences between Germany and my home country, and I wanted to share five of them with you. But before I do, I will just say these are general observations, and of course, they will not apply to everyone. Now, I know a lot of people have heard the cliche that Germans love rules. In fact, one German told me that if the United States is the home of the brave, that Germany is the land of the strict. Well, after living in Germany for 10 months, I've definitely seen cases where this stereotype holds true. And that leads me to my first difference. When you think of who has the most power in Germany, you may think of the Bundeskanzler or the Bundestag or maybe even the German people themselves. But I am here to tell you that that is all wrong because the most powerful person in Germany is the little red man. Now both countries have crosswalk signs, but where I come from, if there are no cars coming, you just ignore the sign and cross the street. But in Germany, I've noticed that it doesn't matter if there is not a car in sight. If the little red man is present, you shall not pass. <laughs> But in all seriousness, I've witnessed this a lot, and I think it stems from a deep sense of respect for the system and how things are supposed to work. And I think the sense that many German people have is a big reason why Germany has so many things that function well. When I think of a typical breakfast in the United States, I think of cereal, fruit, pancakes, yogurt, and maybe a side of bread or toast. In Germany, it's mostly bread or toast. Now, it's no secret that Germans love their bread, and I think you definitely see this in their breakfast choices. For example, my flatmate is German, and every morning he emerges from his room and prepares his morning bread. and you think it would get boring eating bread every morning, but I must admit he is quite creative with it. But Germans' love of bread also goes beyond breakfast time. Some Germans love bread so much that they'll eat a meal of bread in the afternoon, which they have logically named Abendbrot. In the US, many people have mailboxes that look like this. They are usually on the edge of the street so that the person delivering your mail doesn't have to walk up your driveway to your house. In Germany, however, not many people have driveways, so mailboxes typically look like this and are attached to your house. Also, the person delivering your mail in Germany often isn't in a car, but on a bike. This makes it possible for them to come right up to your house. So it seems like German postal workers might get a little more exercise than the ones in the United States. Also, in the United States, we often do not lock our mailboxes but in Germany, I've only ever seen mailboxes lock. In the US, when someone hands you an alcoholic beverage, you just start drinking it. But when I did this in Germany, this is the reaction I got. Yeah, die auch Prost, ne? Unglaublich. In Germany, it's customary to first clink your glass against other people's glasses, and say the magic word, Prost. But very important, as I have learned, you have to make eye contact with every single person with whom you clink glasses, and only then, once this ritual is fulfilled, can you enjoy your beverage. Now, now this is something that I still don't understand, and maybe someone can explain it to me. This is an American pillow. I brought it with me from the United States because I knew what would be awaiting me. This is a German pillow. Why? It doesn't even fit in the frame. I thought a pillow was supposed to be for your head, but I could lay my whole upper body on this thing. I mean, it takes up one third of my entire bed length and it's double the size of my American one. You can either put your head on it and have your feet dangling off the bed, 
or you can lay your whole upper body on it and have your head be on the same plane as your shoulders, which defeats the entire purpose of a pillow. Doesn't it? Please, Germans, I'm genuinely curious. Why? So of course I couldn't fit them all in here, but these were my five differences between Germany and the United States. That's it for now, and until next time.